with a wonderful part. Ooh, yeah. Eddie, I said wonderful part, not attractive Willie. The connection between the trouser area and the word part is tenuous to say the least. Now listen, you keep your hands off that phone. If it's important, you roll for me. I don't want it spoiled by your rebuilding telephone man. Hello? You have just dialed telephone sex gardening division. First run the turn it like that. <laughs> it is filthy Ralph. The impresario, promoter, pornographer, and common thief. I know who Filthy Ralph is. Yeah, but they don't, do they? Oh, stop talking to the children. <coughs> Hello, Filthy Ralph. What do you want? Got me any work? Listen, I'm jaded with the tired, shallow world of TV light entertainment. I yearn to tread the boards again. I fancy Shakespeare. This, considering he's a bloke and dead, makes you a homosexual <laughs> necrophilia. Eddie, Eddie. Yes? Could you pass a pencil? Hang on, Filthy. <clears throat> <laughs> now then, Filthy, what was that you were saying about getting me a wonderful Shakespearean role? Romeo and Juliet, perhaps? It, oh, you're coming over. Wonderful. Ciao. <laughs> Terrific. I knew today was going to be important. Romeo and Juliet. Where's my big beloved Shakespeare book? I know exactly where it is. <laughs> We've only got through the pastorals. Right. <laughs> Rooms and Jewels. Ah, here we are. Rooms and Jewels. Now, Eddie, listen, concentrate. I play Romeo, and you play the fiery, warlike Tybilt. <laughs> right, so, it's a fight. Here it goes. Obviously, it'd be better when I've got my tights on. <clears throat> <laughs> Away to heaven, respected lenity, and fire eyed fury be my conduct now. Now, Tybilt. <laughs> What in the name of Satan's portion? I was acting. You said it was a fight. Yeah, but you've got to let me finish my speech. <laughs> Seems a very funny sort of fight to me. You can't hit me till I finish my speech. Which shows how much you know about acting, because it happens all the time in shape. Well, how am I supposed to play a role that's riddled with such glaring inconsistencies? On the one hand, I'm a fiery warlike Tybilt. And on the other hand, I stand there quiet, Tibbs, when I do my poem. Eddie, this is Shakespeare. And everybody knows that Shakespeare is crap. Yes. <laughs> no, no, well, yes, yes, he is, yes, yes. What is the difficulty thing about Shakespeare, you see, Edwin? Shakespeare, being a genius, is allowed slightly more license than us lesser mortals. <clears throat> and hence is allowed. <laughs> <laughs> and hence is allowed to. Oh, oh no, it's going the front door. <laughs> It'll be the car to take me to rehearsals. Answer it, would you please, Eddie Poppet? <laughs> Richie! Yes? I hate being called Eddie Poppet. Oh, sorry. Answer the door, please, Eddie Weddy, Woppity Poo Poo, Widdly Widdly Flop. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Get a bag and a drink for a dying man, would you, Eddie? <laughs> Hello, filthy Ralph. Ralph Filthy. For the last time, my name is Ralph Filthy, not Filthy Ralph. <laughs> Honestly, just because I run a chain of discount brothels, everyone seems to think I'm a dirty old man. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got to admit, there is a certain haphazard logic to that conclusion. Eddie, my leisure establishments are totally allowable. And anyway, I'll get the kids off youth training schemes. <laughs> The iron lady looks after small businessmen like me. <laughs> Filthy! <laughs> Richie! Filthy! Richie! Filthy! Richie! Filthy! Richie! Yeah, Richie. <laughs>